Hello and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host, Jason Turner. I'm available for code reviews, contracting, and on-site training. In this episode of C++ Weekly, I am going to discuss a new feature of C++ 20 with ConstExpert support that is now available in GCC Trunk to play with today on Compiler Explorer. And this is pretty exciting. It is the first time that we will be able to do dynamic memory allocation at compile time with ConstExpr, and this again is coming in C20. But there's a few caveats, and we're going to run through these examples and see what the caveats are and, um, and, and see what we can do with this functionality today. So let's go ahead and look at our setup here. First, we've got C2A with GCC trunk, and we are building. This version was built on October 6th of 2019 and uh, 03, all optimizations turned on and we are in Compiler Explorer. So I'm just going to write a constexpr function. So I wrote a constexpr function that returns a new integer. And if I call this function, I am calling it at runtime. This is an auto value. I'm not using const expert here. And we can see also another new feature of GCC coming into play here where it has done heap elision for us. So even though we've allocated this int on the heap, we are, it's, it's aligning that. Clang has been able to do this for quite a while. This is a new feature from GCC. So GCC's heap elision is coming into play. And this is not a problem. But if we want to assign this equal to a const expert value here, then we're going to get this error. Get value is not a constant expression because it refers to a result of operator new. But we can do a new allocation inside of here. And I'm going to make this auto return value to simplify this here. So we can do a new and a delete in a const expr context, but we can't let that new escape, that pointer escape from a compile time context. So let's go ahead and look at this again from a slightly different angle. If I return i here, then I'm going to get this, the constant expression before, because it refers to a result of operator new, okay. So let's go ahead and instead return the value here. And now I get a different compile error. Get value is not a constant expression because allocated storage has not been deallocated. So anything that is allocated at compile time in a const expert context must be freed at compile time in a const expert context. So let's go ahead and make another const expert function. So in this case, I am allocating this new integer, uh, and I am storing a pointer to it here on line 10. I am dereferencing this value, I am deleting it, and then I'm returning the value. And I'm doing this all at compile time. So I can do this, const expr per context, I can, anything that I allocate, I must free. If at any point I forget to free it, then I'm going to go back to this compile time error saying that the allocated storage hasn't been freed. And since const expert doesn't allow undefined behavior, if we swap these two things around and delete it first, now I get use of allocated storage after deallocation in a constant expression. So something that would be potentially a difficult to track down runtime error now becomes something that can be caught at compile time, and it's required to be caught at compile time in a const expert context. So that is what we have with dynamic allocation in const expert in C20. We can allocate something. I want to write it out here. We can allocate with new. We must free allocated memory inside the const expert context. And we must not access freed memory.
but that's just undefined behavior. We're not allowed to do undefined behavior in C++ in a context per context regardless. So that probably leaves you wondering, now how in the world am I supposed to actually use this? What is the point of being able to do dynamic allocation in a context per context if I can't actually use any of these things outside of the context per context? And well, we'll get there, but things that you can do or will be able to do is you'll, you will be able to use vector and string inside this context per context, which again, you're wondering, okay, now if I were to in here, do this value, and make a vector, I'm just going to immediately get this compile time error because a return type of vector is not valid because vector is not literal, blah, blah, blah. So we're not quite there yet when it comes to our standard containers, um, but we will be able to use vector and string in C20. And I assure you, I will do a, another video about when those have been updated so that they can be used in a context per context as well. So what we might end up with is a world where we have to do something like this. Now this isn't going to compile yet because we don't have the vector and string support. So, like I said, this can't compile yet because we don't have standard vector support for const per use in GCC standard library yet, but it's going to look a, something a little like this. And so we can do any arbitrary calculations we want to and just work naturally with our standard containers of vector and string in our compile time context. And then we have to get just a little bit creative when it comes to moving that from compile time context to a fixed size, non-allocated runtime context, but we can do it. We just have to, uh, like I said, be a little bit creative and be willing to consider what we need to do to pass this information along. So in a future episode, I will actually show code like this working once the standard library has support for it. So thank you for watching this episode of C++ Weekly. Hope you learned something new about C++ 20.